everybody, my name is Shauna and I'm a senior at UCLA. And if you're a student like me and have transitioned to online school, then your screen time has probably exponentiated. But something I've done to combat that is staying on social media. I actually deleted most of my social media when I was a sophomore in high school. So it's been a while and the main reason why I did that was because it never really benefited my life. It went beyond just comparing my looks to other people, it was comparing my whole life to other people. I know my experience with social media is not the same for everybody and so that is why I am bringing on my special guest which is my friend Brielle. Brielle is also a fellow senior here at UCLA and we actually met at a Christian fellowship. I heard a couple weeks ago she started doing something pretty similar to me so join me as I hop on a call with her. Hello, Brielle. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so I actually heard recently that you deleted all of your social media. I did. I deleted. I deleted Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. I stopped watching like shows on like Netflix. I deleted Pinterest, Candy Crush. <laughs> Everything, all the distractions. Literally everything. And you all did a cold stuff. turkey too, right? Cold turkey, just cut it off. Oh my gosh, how long has it been? It's been, I think this is approaching the end of week three. So this is vlog number one of my daily life. Unplugging, as the kids might call it. So far, I've been, you know, surviving. I'm still on this challenge, but uh, stay tuned. So what made you basically like decide to stop using social media? I think it was more for like productivity purposes. I wasn't very productive with my phone, just always there. And I just like can't really focus on anything like that I need to do. Like schoolwork's really hard right now. Like, I don't know if you feel the same thing, like with this whole isolation, I have no motivation to do <laughs> anything school related. It's class time and we've been in a breakout room. For 37 minutes. So I know you said you have a lot of extra free time now. So what are some new hobbies that you've been picking up? Uh, well, let's see. Me and my friend, we like to walk around the UCLA campus a lot. Like we have our own little like route we take. Right now, just taking our, our daily walk. Um, stroll around the perimeter of UCLA, which is like four miles so that's a pretty decent walk what's up I'm just checking in finished our walk i just figured i'd document this because it's a classic moment where I'm sitting here normally i'd be scrolling my phone looking through twitter and i can't do that so i just picked up my book and now now i read my roommates and i started doing like our little group yoga session <laughs> I don't know if I'm like some yoga master now, but like, I'm on my but way. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what would you say like so far would be the most difficult part? I think catching myself being bored. Like, you know, you can't just be doing something all the time. I catch myself just staring at a wall, you know, because it's like, yeah. it's not, you know, going to be productive like 24 hours a day, obviously. It's just like trying to find things to like fill my time with. That was, that was quite the challenge. It was an entertaining challenge but it was a challenge still. Morning, y'all. It is 7.45 a.m. Typically, I spend that time scrolling through Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and Twitter again, then Instagram and Snapchat. But since I can't do that, I already woke up at like 6.45. So I'm gonna talk to my little plants. Come on, little buddy. You can do it. So now that you do social media, what would you say would be like the biggest difference in your daily life? Honestly, I get a lot more done. I can just stay focused for longer periods of time, like reading and stuff. Like I've done a lot of um, Bible reading and a lot of like studying. So I've started like a book, like a, oh, like wow. a Christian textbook. Reading just wasn't really my thing. I never really saw myself reading those things because I can't, I don't have a t an attention span that lasts longer than two minutes. Like reading's an Olympic sport, honestly. But like now it's like, okay, I don't have anything waiting for me on my phone. Like there's nothing I have to get back. There's nothing I'm missing out on because like I just don't have it. Yeah. So like I can just sit here, take my time, really focus on like my stats homework, like coding and like thinking and like 
Dang. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's just crazy, like 180. Like, I learned how to read again. It was crazy. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Well, I think that's it for me. I hope you have a good rest of your night. And you too, I'll Shauna. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon, Bria. Oh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed catching up with my friend Brielle and I. It really seems that nowadays everyone's on Netflix or on their phones trying to keep up with the latest trends. While there are many positive advantages to advanced technology, there are also a lot of negatives. Studies have found that in 2019, the average adult spent about 12 hours and 9 minutes on a media platform per day. So I really encourage you to unplug and as you can tell from Brielle, it's not that bad. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys stay tuned for our next video. And action! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he go?